right, guys. So I've been having a lot of people have been asking me questions about this Snakebite controller recently on my last video, which, when it connects, should show up over here. It connects. Everything is working as it should. But as you can tell, mine actually says that it needs a software update. I am actually on the older software. I have not actually updated it. And I believe I can figure out why this is not working with the newer update. So let me go ahead and update this, and then I'll get back to... To this part in my update here so we'll go to the menu and we will go ahead and go down to system and here you can tell that it's going to be on update 5.1.0 so now it is up to date but then whenever people have been having problems whenever they try to connect the snake bike controller to their console So mine says that it connected, but as you can tell here, it is not actually connecting, but it does show down here in the corner that the controller is connected. But it does not actually allow me to control anything. So there is a problem with these controllers with this now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the computer and I'll show you what to do with this. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up uh, going onto your computer, into your web browser, and going to this website here. I'll have it linked in the description below. And you're gonna click Download Gamepad S Pro Firmware Update. It is gonna make it compatible with the Switch Firmware 5.1. You're going to download the updater.exe. You're going to save this file. And now we should bring up the actual updater. All right, and then you can see here that it says to start the download. So what you're gonna do is you're going to plug in your controller into your computer. All right, and if you actually read the uh, instructions here, I'll link these in the description below as well. But you have to open the updater, press and hold the plus key to connect it into PC mode. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down the plus key and then you're going to plug it into USB while doing that. All right, so if you guys read the instructions here, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the plus symbol and then you're going to connect it to USB. The second indicator on the controller shall be should be on. So once you plug in the controller, the second LED should be on. It should be plugged in. You hold down the plus button, plug the cable in. It should be detected by your computer, and this LED should turn on. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit start, like it says here in the instructions. You're just going to hit start to start the upgrade process. And then it says download is successful, so the update and everything should be good to go. So we're just going to close this down. And then we are going to go back to my other camera and we will show the update working. All right, guys. So I just successfully updated this firmware, which is off the website. Um, so all I have to do is just hold down this button. And then it shows that it connected. And as you can see, the controller is now working again. So everything on the controller should be good to go as far as this. Let's go ahead and just launch something. So we're going to go ahead and we will try this out. Go ahead and I'll resume my game. All right, and as you guys can tell, this is the controller here. Oh, don't want to die. <laughs> but everything is working on the controller as it should. So yeah, just updating the firmware using the link in the description below to do the update. And the, the update will allow this to work with the firmware 5.1.0, which is the latest firmware as of making this video. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have not liked the video, please like it. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you guys have any uh, comments for any future videos, please leave them in the description below. But any, anyways, take care guys. Peace.